Now, one of the biggest questions that you probably have about the class is how are you going to uh, earn your grades? And the interesting thing about education is that really my goal is that you master the content. All this information that you're going to get in this class through the video lectures, through the readings, through our activities in class, through labs, I want that information to become part of you. I want that information to be in your brain. I want you to be able to work with it. I want you to be able to think about it. I want you to be able to apply it to situations in your life. And somehow I have to figure out if you've done that. And the only way for me to do that is to give you some sort of task and then to determine your performance on that task, and we do that through grades. My world would change in a very positive way if I had, like, a thermometer that I could stick under your tongue or rub across your forehead, and it would report back how much you knew. I mean, seriously, if anybody wants to invent something like that, you would be rich because pretty much the way I think about uh, my job is that I get paid to grade. Like that's the part of my job that I really, I don't love it. I wish I did, but I just don't. I don't, I don't, it's a, oh, holy cow, let's not talk about grading. It makes me sort of want to cry. But it's the only way for me to figure out what is in your head. In a rig style class, in any rig style class, there's like eight billion ways for you to show me what's inside your head. And I give you a lot of points for, do, for studying, for doing things that you should be doing anyway. And we'll talk specifically about the assignments in a separate section where I can talk about the Bio 1 assignments and I can talk about the physio assignments and the anatomy assignments. But before we get there, I, I just want to be sure that everybody's clear on how I look at the assignments, like what their purpose is. The purpose is to motivate you to learn the content and then to determine whether or not you actually did. And the only way to do that is through an assessment. You have to, you have to show me. I can't just know it. And that's why we set our courses up the way that we do. Okay. You care about your grade. In your brain right now, you're thinking, I'm going to earn a hmm in this class. And hopefully your goal is high. A's are completely doable in a rig style class, but you have to learn the content. And there's a lot of content to learn, so you have to have the time and you need to figure out how you best can stick the information in there. So let's, I, I'm going to, show you, bring you back to this thing, the semester grade calculator, because in a lot of classes you're told, okay, you're going to get 10 points for doing this and you're going to get 100 points for doing this and you ha over the semester you're going to earn 1,000 points. Dude, I don't even know how many points you're going to earn over the semester. I like to have flexibility so that I can decide, oh, let's add 10 points for this and I'll give you 30 points for this. So I have no idea how many points we're going to have. I have a, a rough idea and you will see that there's lots of points rolling around in this class. I do my grade calculations based on percentages, which means you can't just add up the points. Clickers, you show up to my class every day, you're going to get 10 clicker points, and that in all of my classes is worth 5% of your grade. We'll talk about that in a little bit more detail, but um, all of your grades are calculated by percentages the percent that your exams count for is varies in the different classes, but there is a percentage that it is. That is why if you are curious about how you're doing, you can go to this tool and you can look in Canvas and say, okay, right now I'm getting a 75 percent on my exams and I'm getting, you know, all these other numbers in here. And wow, that gets me a B minus in the class. I need to do better on my exams. What would happen if I got an 80 percent on my exams? Wow, that bumps me up to a B. I'm going to work really hard to get an 80 percent on my exams. What can I do to fix that? This is handy. The other thing, um, I know there is something else that I wanted to tell you about grades. Oh, 
I have to go back to my syllabus statement. Let's see, because, and I've already said this once, but I'm going to say it again. Whatever these percentages are for whatever class you are taking from me, um, this is important to me. Here are the percentage breakdowns. Look at the number of decimal points that I've got going on here. Uh, I don't round. I don't round your grade. There's 8 jillion points. If you'd have done one more clicker, you had done like, whatever, I don't round your grade. So the grade reported in Canvas is the grade that you're earning in the class. Don't ask for a grade bump. There's lots of resources so that you can figure out, am I doing what I want to be doing? I, one of my big, one of the best parts about the flip is that I'm available for pep talks. And you, oh, dude, holler at me. I need a pep talk, Riggs. I'm in. I'll give you a pep talk for what you, what you need to do and how you should approach it. I have a billion ideas for how to study more efficiently, not necessarily putting in more time, which is important for a lot of you guys because you guys are busy, crazy people, which is awesome. And I would love to support you in that, but um, in all my classes, this is how the grades kick down. There are two things that I do in every class that I'm going to talk about um, next, and that is clickers and the external brain. So let's talk about clickers first.